potentially big COVID news today. Right now, the only approved treatments in this country come through an IV or an injection, but that may change with drug maker Merck saying it's experimental medicine. That's the name of it, Molnupiravir. I'm messing that up, but we've got an expert who can pronounce it next. Uh, cut COVID hospitalizations and related deaths in half when it was taken by unvaccinated people who caught COVID within five days of when they had symptoms. The results still need to be peer reviewed, but an independent group of experts recommended stopping the trial early because the results were just so good. So we want to discuss that right now with one of our trusted experts, Kaleida Health epidemiologist and UB professor, Dr. John Selleck. Great to have you on, doctor. Thank you for having me again. So we went through the headline there. What's the real impact if this gets approved? Well, this is very interesting. Uh, we've known that uh, several of the companies have had uh, these drugs uh, in development. Uh, they're all what we call nucleoside inhibitors. They, they uh, put a, a bad block in as the RNA chains are being developed, and uh, it's the way a number of our antiviral drugs work. Uh, and we're, uh, you know, we're hopeful that what Merck announced in their uh, press release today is going to hold up once it does get to peer review. Uh, as you pointed out, these were unvaccinated patients uh, with mild to moderate disease, uh, and they, they took the uh, combined endpoint of hospitalization and death from 14.1% uh, to 7.3%. So that's good news. And the other thing that's good news, it's, it's an oral treatment. Uh, again, as you also noted, uh, even though the monoclonal antibodies are good, we've had great difficulty locally uh, arranging this. Uh, you know, it, it, it requires uh, a special space because you don't want to bring an infected person into a hospital unnecessarily. You need nursing staff, you need pharmacy staff, et cetera. So uh, this could be, uh, this could be uh, a change for us. And again, hopefully the, uh, the data hold up. Uh, the way the company has uh, uh, said that they would. Yeah, a lot uh, easier the, the, to, to take a pill than to do the other things that, right. that you had mentioned. But well, what, what about potential downsides of this? We've heard about uh, the potential of maybe it mutating the virus as this is used. Any side effects or anything to worry about? That's a, yeah, the uh, the drug is uh, molnupiravir, uh, you know, and they, they they do these names intentionally to make life difficult for <laughs> us. So uh, don't feel don't feel bad. Uh, I think that, you know, we're always concerned whenever you have a drug like this is what is going to be the long term effect on the virus and what is going to be the effect on humans. Uh, the, uh, you know, the drugs would be given for a fairly short period of time. It's a bunch of pills. It's about eight pills a day, four pills twice a day for five days. But, uh, you know, I think that's still pretty doable compared to going somewhere for uh, for an infusion. So the, the risk to humans should be very low because it's uh, so short and the safety data that the company says that they have, again, this is stuff that the FDA has to look at and you know their uh, prolonged animal trials showing uh, that it's safe. The, the issue of mutation, we deal with that all the time with antibiotics. We see that uh, you know new antibiotics for bacteria come out uh, they're wonderful when they first come out. We overuse them, and then the, the bacteria become resistant. So I think we would always have to be somewhat concerned about that uh, with, uh, with a drug like this. And I think the other thing that is absolutely overarching with this, uh, this is not a drug in the other drugs that uh, Pfizer and uh, I, I can't remember who else is uh, working on right now. Uh, these are not going to be cures. These aren't going to stamp out you know, the way antibiotics stamp out bacteria. So uh, uh, immunization is still going to be the most important part. Uh, we still have to keep uh, pushing the vaccine uh, because the vaccine is more effective than, than what we've seen in the results of this trial, at least that, uh, you know, what Merck has, uh, has shown us so far. So, uh, you know, we still want, it, uh, still want it to be vaccine driven. And I wouldn't be yep. surprised uh, once the FDA gets to it that they will expand this to not just unvaccinated people, but to vaccinated people uh, as well. Dr. John Selick, epidemiologist with Kaleida Health and a professor at UB. Thanks for helping us understand this and have a great that. weekend. You too, be safe.